What's up everyone and welcome to The Real Review, the show that gives you honest reviews of the latest movies and more. I'm your host, Ben Farmer. Today we're going to be talking about Hell or High Water and a lot more, so let's get right to it. Hell or High Water stars Jeff Bridges, Chris Pine, Ben Foster, and many more. The story is about two brothers, one of them played by Ben Foster, just got out of jail and is now obsessed with crime. The other, played by Chris Pine, is robbing banks for the right reason, if that makes sense or if there even is such a thing. Ben Foster's character is just doing it for fun and the money, of course, and you know he was put in jail and had his time and now he's out and somehow he stayed out for a whole year and he's been robbing banks. Not sure how that's happened. Jeff Bridges is almost ready for retirement as his character has been a Texas Ranger for many years and this is his last rodeo. The movie is entertaining and you'll laugh throughout most of the movie However, the movie does take a turn and become more serious, so just be ready for that. Overall, I will give this movie a 6 on my real review score, and I really enjoyed the movie, but there were a few times that I was thrown out of the movie. There were just some scenes that made me wonder why they were put into the film. So with a, I think uh, the runtime was about an hour and 42 minutes, and I felt like there could have been an hour-long short film rather than dragging out certain scenes that just were just there. They weren't really establishing shots or anything like that. They just kind of were there. That's just me being nitpicky, but don't get me wrong. It's a fun movie to watch. Jeff Bridges' characters will make you laugh throughout most of the movie with his stereotypical remarks towards anyone that he comes in contact with. The filmmakers really nailed the general population's idea of what life of a Texan looks like, from the stereotypes to the more realistic idea of what normal people in Texas look like. I would say that this would be a movie that you can probably wait for it to come out and see on Netflix or go rent it at Redbox. Like I said, it's fun to watch, but it's not one that I would go buy when it does come out. But if I did want to go rent something that uh, was just going to be a fun movie to watch for Movie Monday or something like that, this would be one I would pick up. It is rated R, so and it, there's a lot of language and violence, so just make sure you choose wisely on who you do take to this movie. So that's it for Hell or High Water, so now let's move on to what's going on in the world this week. The first thing I want to talk about this week is that Disney just announced its plans to make more Star Wars films after Episode Nine, which is the last film planned in the saga of Star Wars films. We've known for a while that there will be a Star Wars film every year until 2020, but just yesterday Bob Iger, who is the CEO of the Walt Disney Company, announced that there were plans to keep Star Wars alive after Episode Nine. The current lineup of Star Wars films coming soon are Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, which comes out this December. Then next year we will see Episode 8. In 2019 we will probably see the Han Solo spinoff film that was announced not too long ago. And then finally Episode 9 in 2020. After that is where the mystery is. I know myself and all other Star Wars fans are very anxious to hear what the future holds for Star Wars. Next up, our favorite ogre Shrek is coming back for a fifth film, which is slated right now for a 2019 release. With Mike Myers slowly slipping off the radar, it's time for a return. And that means the possibility of another, his, oh, another one of his characters, Austin Powers. No news on that movie yet, but it's been a rumor for many years, so hopefully this will bring the project back. Some exciting news concerning our favorite pirate, Captain Jack Sparrow. An Instagram video shows the opening seconds of the newest Pirates of the Caribbean film, Dead Men Tell No Tales. In this video, we will see what is called a scoring session, which means that the film's music is currently being recorded with the actual movie. So let's take a listen to what's going on. Sounds like Pirates to me. Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales is scheduled right now for a release next year. I'll be keeping a very close eye out for a trailer. I'm going to go ahead and make a guess that we will probably see the trailer attached to Rogue One in December, but I could be wrong. It could be before that. That's all the news that I have for us this week. Thank goodness for no more Avatar news, so let's just move on and see what's coming soon. There were a few new trailers that have just been released that I wanted to talk about. The first one is called Passengers. It stars Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt. 
The initial trailer got me interested seeing the film because it looks like it takes place on a spaceship and the only two people that wake up on this massive spaceship are Chris Pat and Jennifer Lawrence. There are a lot of questions that came up when I was watching the trailer, so I'll definitely be checking it out. And make sure you watch the trailer soon. I'll definitely post the link down below so you can watch it. This week, The Magnificent Seven comes out, as well as Storks. If you do go out and see any of these movies, let me know what you think of them on Twitter, at Ben's Real Review. Now on to my suggestion of the week. This week, my suggestion is The Revenant. I really enjoyed watching this film from start to finish. The cinematography, which is all the camera work, was so beautiful. And actually, fun fact, this film was shot with only the available light, which means that the only light that they used on set was the light coming from the sun, coming from the moon, or coming from fire. That was it. So everything you see in the film, there was no artificial lighting on the set that we're aware of. Behind the scenes stuff that I've watched, there weren't any lights, so I believe what they say. This film won uh, Leonardo DiCaprio his very first Oscar, which should have happened many years ago. We all felt for Leo every time he got nominated and then was looked over every year, but not last year. Was it last? Yeah, I think it was last year. But he won his first Oscar, and when you finish this film, you will definitely understand why. The movie is rated R, so be careful who you show it to. There are some gory moments throughout the film, so be prepared to get a little grossed out at times. Overall, I do love this movie, and it quickly became one of my favorites. If you have an opportunity to watch this on a 4K TV, do it. It's unbelievable the amount of realism it gives this particular film. And let me know what you think about it by following me on Twitter, and use the hashtag TheRealReview, and I'll give you a shout-out next time. Now it's time for the quote of the week. Last week's quote was answered correctly by my sister Stephanie. The quote came from one of her favorite movies of all time, A League of Their Own. So great job, Steph. Here's the quote for this week. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Let me know the answer on Twitter and I'll announce the winner on next week's show. That's all the time that we have for this show. And I'd like to thank everyone for watching this week's episode of The Real Review, as well as all of our other episodes. I'd also like to thank River Street Productions. Make sure to subscribe to their YouTube channel for all of the episodes of this show as well as all the other shows that they have to offer. Be sure to also like them on Facebook for updates on this show and anything else that they have going on at the studio. You can follow me on Twitter, like I said before, at Ben's Real Review for breaking news in the industry and what find out what movies that I'm going to go see this week or what I'm watching right now. One quick thing I did want to update everyone on is starting in October, I will be doing all my suggestions on horror films. For Halloween, of course. I will also be reviewing some horror films, so be prepared for what I'm calling Scaretober. Have a great weekend, everyone, and get out there and watch some movies.